Hello everyone and welcome you back to my channel. In this video, I will be giving on the introductions to educational research. So we will be learning what is research, the meaning and nature of research, as well as the characteristics and objective of research. What is research? From the word itself, it says research. So research means searching again uh, or to search for something new, all right? something that is novel or to modify the existing one all right to modify the knowledge that is already there and we research it again and um, one can also define research as uh, a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic all right in fact um, research is an art of scientific investigation and according to Redman and Mori they define research as a systematized effort to gain new knowledge and uh, according to American College Dictionary it also defined research as a diligent inquiry or investigation into a subject in order to discover facts or principles therefore research is a well thought scientific process which will involve some definite steps for arriving at something new or adding modification to the existing stock of knowledge which will be helpful in solving the problems being confronted we can also define research as a tool comprising of well thought scientific process or method of investigation carried out through some definite steps that is for realizing the purpose or objective of the research, such as gaining new knowledge, contributing to theoretical generalization or solution to the confronting problem and utilizing it in the needed practical applications. Let us look into the nature of research. The first is research is always conducted with definite purpose, aim or objective in view. It is aimed at serving the purposes such as to provide answers. It is to provide answers to the questions that are being asked or raised or the problems that we felt the need to research it again. The second sub point is to seek reliable information so as to correct and verify the existing stock of knowledge and it is also to get new knowledge. The third sub point is to add in the theoretical knowledge of a subject. Coming to the second nature of research, research is a systematized effort with careful and studious examination, which means that it is not conducted in a haphazard way. All right, and it follows scientific investigation, which involves well planned with definite steps of scientific method or approach for realizing the set objective. The third nature is research is a process, which means that it is a continuous process and not a product. It is not a final product, but it is a continuous process. Coming to the characteristics of research, number one, research is always purposeful and goal directed. So it has a purpose and it has a goal. And the purpose or goal of a research is in order to find the answers to the questions that are being raised, to find solution to the felt problems, and in order to understand the processes and mechanisms. The second characteristic is it is always planned and methodical in its approach which means that research is never carried out in haphazard or unsystematic or unplanned way, okay? It is always planned and it follows a certain methodical approach. Therefore, it is systematic and organized based on scientific method and objective approach to arrive at the most reliable and valid conclusions. The third characteristic is research originate with the questions or problem so it needs to be defined clearly in order to find out the solution stated in terms of late objectives. Now let us look into the objective of research. The first is to gain familiarity with a phenomenon or to achieve new insights into it. 
The research studies which are done with this objective are termed as exploratory or formulative research studies. Second objective, to portray accurately the characteristics of a particular individual, situation, or a group. Now, the research studies with this objective in view are known as descriptive research studies. Third objective is to determine the frequencies with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else. Now, the studies with this objective in view are known as diagnostic research studies. The fourth objective is to test a hypothesis of causal relationship between variable. Now, these research studies with this objective are known as hypothesis testing research studies. Now, coming to the conclusions in introductions of educational research, let us look at the characteristics of a good research work. So the characteristics of a good research work may be properly summarized, examined and categorized mainly into four categories. The first category will be the purpose and objective of research. Second will be the procedures and methodology that has been adopted. Third category will be the conclusions that is arrived or the generalization that is reached. And lastly, the, that is the fourth category will be the quality and characteristics of the person conducting research. So that is all in this video. Thank you so much for watching.